know, I think the market really has uh, progressed uh, a long way since uh, Paris, uh, you know, uh, where Jinin uh, talked about. And um, and as a, uh, a group CFO, um, you know, for the first time in the six, seven years, uh, uh, since then, uh, now, we see uh, uh, differentiated uh, pricing uh, for our bonds uh, and uh, RCFs uh, in not just green financing, but financing with the um, uh, SDGs uh, performance links uh, from both uh, regional and uh, global uh, investors. Uh, so the financing story, just like the India low valuation uh, uh, dictates, uh, is more than just the liquidity uh, for both uh, debt and equity. Um, I think uh, uh, we address usually the debt portion, but I think on even on the uh, uh, debt uh, equity valuation uh, before Grab, uh, we have the uh, you know India uh, renewable specs, uh, uh, you know, in the headline with the high uh, valuation. Uh, so from both uh, equity and debt angle, the liquidity is plentiful, and I think the financing story. Uh, so it's more than just liquidity; it's a it's a combination of a positive uh, regulatory and financial environments, and the uh, 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 and the fact that the, the renewable energy right now uh, goes from a, a megawatt supply uh, push uh, to a uh, very much a demand uh, pool dynamics, uh, laying the necessary foundation uh, for significant uh, economy of scales above and beyond what you just show the audience in your first slides and uh, advances in technology such as uh, storage, uh, offshore winds uh, and um, optimization of uh, land use uh, such as flo uh, solar, uh, floating solar and hybrids uh, and the business models and financial models uh, to meet the requirements of the uh, uh, demand pool marketplace. So I think in, in short, uh, for my introductory comment to some of your questions, and is that uh, uh, what is at play in the renewables and sustainable uh, uh, finance uh, is uh, very much a accommodative and supportive stance for exponential growth in the future.